Alright, sorry about that. Uh, yay, now I can actually see things to stop. It's amazing. I can almost judge depth, were it not for the fact that it's too deep. Um, seriously, this game. It's awesome. On that note, um, the 3DS. When I first heard about it, I would have been like, it's just a gimmick. 3D's a giant gimmick. Do not care that much. Really do. But then I started reading these reviews of people that had exactly the same idea. Oh yeah, 3D's just a gimmick. When they heard about it, and then they went and tried it out, and they were like, oh my fucking god, this 3DS, I want one. I want one now. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me all night long. And, um, so I was like, huh. A lot of people having this reaction. I may actually try this out. And as soon as I tried it out, I was like, well, goddamn, this is fucking amazing. I want one, give me one, give it to me all night long, baby, baby. And for that reason, I do thoroughly recommend getting a 3DS if the only reason you are not getting it is the fact that 3D is a gimmick. If you were worried about price, fair enough. Worried about the games that are out on it, you don't enjoy any of them. Um, or you just don't like the fact that they're all remakes, those are valid concerns. But if you just think that 3D is a gimmick, um, really, you, you really do need to get your hands on it. Or at least try a 3DS out. And I say this because um, the, the 3D of a 3DS is sort of different um, from standard 3D. One of, uh, there's, there's the fact that I have to wear glasses. Personally, I don't care about that too much. I don't mind wearing glasses all that much. If you want 3D, then that's just something you should have been willing to put up with back in the day. But what's really interesting about the 3DS's 3D is that, unlike a lot of 3D, where they attempt to have the image come out to you, come out of the screen and, and towards the viewer, um, in the 3D of the 3DS sits into the screen. And for me, that's a very interesting and important um, immersive technique because you feel like you're looking into the world. You're actually seeing a world in front of you. You're looking into it, and it's um, and, and it's hidden away in the 3DS. And that's uh, that's I don't know. It's a really interesting way for me of of setting up a, a different kind of immersion because it's, it's sort of different from the standard immersion where you, you want the player to feel like they are in the game um, or is it this method you interacting as though you want the player to be looking at the game as a spectator so a different type of immersion but yeah a, a fantastic effect has made the Back to the actual content, playing Jack and Daxter. Um, I do like electrified water. Uh, tropers will love this one. Convection, schmonvection, um, frequently employed in video games, is lava that you have to jump over that doesn't actually hurt you. And in this game as well, to be fair, there is lava that you have to jump over. And it doesn't hurt you by just being close to it, despite the fact that being within an arm's length of lava is still likely going to be producing steam and other noxious gases and just heating the air around you to the point that it's going to cause you injury. So electrified water is a much better substitute for um, uh, a liquid service that you don't want your player to be able to interact with without taking damage. A lot better than lava. If you want to be correct. Hey, who cares about being correct? Now this is a nice little example of puzzle making chucked into video games. Fairly standard example. You step on the thing, it rotates. It's not difficult to understand, it's good for little kitties. But that kind of thing is, is overused. Oh god! Oh, thank god. No electrified water for me. No hurties. Bye bye. I do like that this resets. Um, if you walk away from it, it pulls away from the real 
immersion bit because you don't actually see it happen, so it's quite obviously a cop out, but um, it's better than that. Completely screwing yourself and having to leave the area and come back into it. And things like that, having to leave an area and walk back into it to cause something, they're, they're good exploits for gamers, but they're examples of poor design in that you, the gamer is now thinking about the fact that this is a game rather than a world they're interacting with. They're thinking about the fact that they can exploit things by. Uh, by doing crap like that. Quick! Uh, follow that pipe! And you should really have to or even be able to do stuff like that, if you ask me. <laughs> but then who does? This is pretty cool. If you just um pay attention to where the pipes are going, you can set this up for yourself. Um, so if I were to do it now I probably wouldn't make it there in time. I definitely will make it in time. So you can set these cells, these things up for you. So you can just do it quick, bam, I'm jumping, I'm there, awesome. Don't need to wait, don't need to stress too much about the fact that you're on a time limit. Kind of a waste of my time, I really should press the button first, but whatevs bro, toads don't even care. I really shouldn't say stuff like that, I despise that kind of language, totes. Who the fuck came up with that? Oh hells yeah. Color coordination. I like colors in here. I know that's not for everyone, like, games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and, um, I don't know what's a good example, Dragon Age, Dragon Age is an excellent example, it is not a cult game, by no means is that a cult game, but people love it because it's, it's grim, it's nasty, and it's really, really good um, RPG elements there, um, but frankly I cannot play it because I don't like what it it's not colourful enough. I like colours. I like Super Mario Galaxy for that exact reason. It's really, really colourful. It's good black good platform. Well, really good. Um, I, mean, I know it's been done before the whole spherical world thing and wandering around that way, but it was done really well. And you know, all you people that bitch and moan about the fact that Mario Galaxy is an original that way can can get the hell over it. You know, it's, there's one thing to copy somebody verbatim and just claim credit. It's another to copy a concept and execute it in a really, in a really impressively done way. Man, my language sucks. I've been playing for too long. I may take a break shortly. Soon see. See, I can't. I, I know I really should take a break because my commentary is going downhill, but I don't want to take a break because I love playing this game! But that's not why I'm playing. I'm playing Make a Let's Play, so I should probably stop. I'm gonna do that just after I collect these precursor orbs. Oh crap. <laughs> 